your weekly guide to the latest and greatest Nintendo Switch eShop deals has arrived. This week has an absolutely massive amount of sales going on, and it can be overwhelming navigating the eShop to see what is good or not. Don't worry, I got you covered. There's a lot of great games on sale this week, with tons of Japanese publishers represented for the Golden Week sale. It's a great week to stock up on some video games, so hang on, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and let's go over this week's awesome Nintendo Switch eShop deals. <laughs> We kick off this week's list with some nice gems for the Switch. Hades, arguably the best roguelike on the system, is on sale for $16.24. It's a fantastic game that will provide you hours and hours of gameplay. If you never played this one, do yourself a favor and pick this one up at a nice discount before May 9th. New Super Lucky's Tale, the enhanced remake of Super Lucky's Tale, is a great 3D platformer that definitely should be checked out especially for those who love that style of games. It's very polished, and honestly is a perfect fit for the Nintendo console. It's $17.99, a great price for this game, and that lasts until May 6th. Witchwood is a crafting adventure game that just looks fantastic with its storybook art style. I mean, just look at it. It's so freaking beautiful. That said, judging by the reception, the gameplay is just as good as it looks. As you explore the end game, you will research and craft spells while interacting with a whole cast of characters. It's $13.99, the lowest price has ever been on the eShop until May 9th. Freedom Planet originally started out as a Sonic the Hedgehog fan game, but that got transformed into a brand new property, its current state. You can see the inspiration and style in its gameplay, but the end product is that it's its own beast and one that is quite good to check out for fans of fast-paced 2D games. It's just $4.49, which is a fantastic price for this classic. Sale ends May 12th. If you look to challenge your 3D platforming skills, then Demon Turf is a game that you should check out. It's a speedrunner's dream. It's $19.99, 5 bucks currently off on the eShop sale. I like the idea of taking a 2D aesthetic and putting it in a 3D setting. Plus, I like the attitude this game has. Sale ends May 9th. Garden Story looks like a wonderful and cute action RPG game with world building elements. For those looking for a game that's chill and want to relax a bit, you might want to check this out, especially since it's at its lowest price ever on the eShop. It's $13.99 until May 4th. Okay, so we waited long enough. Let's dive into these Japanese publisher sales that are going on. Koi Tecmo has some really awesome deals going. The fantastic Atelier Riser is just $29.99. This is one of the better RPGs on the system, and that's for good reason. The story is charming, the characters are very likable, but the crafting, synthesizing mechanics are excellent, as well as the RPG combat. It's enjoyable from start to finish. The main game is $29.99, it's the lowest price ever, but you might want to spring for the deluxe version, which is $5 more. Its sequel is just as good too, judging by the reviews, and worth getting if you already played the first one. It's $38.99 on the eShop sale, the deluxe version is $46.79, while the Ultimate Edition is $71.49, which for both is the lowest price it's ever been. Sale ends for both games, May 9th. I love the original Monster Rancher games on the PlayStation, and it's great to see that they got a re-release on modern platforms with a few touch-ups. I reviewed the game last year if you want to check out the review, but long story short is, if you like the original releases, then you might as well get this bundle that has some nice modern touches. Monster Rancher 2 though is by far the better of the two. It's on sale for $22.49, it's the lowest price ever on the eShop until May 9th. Speaking of getting another release, it's great to see Fate of Frame, made in a black water, get another chance instead of being locked away forever on the Wii U. It's a fun, but of course spooky Japanese horror game that is worth checking out, especially if you're a fan of horror games. It's $31.99, it's the lowest price ever, while the Digital Deluxe Edition is $43.99. Sale ends May 9th. Capcom is getting in on the sales too with some nice discounts. Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection is on sale for $11.99. It has a bunch of Street Fighter games from the main series and alpha series and is perfect for any fighting game fan. 
Might as well get this ahead of the fighting game collection that comes out this summer. I absolutely love Monster Hunter Rise. That is easy to tell. I mean, it is on my top 10 most played games on the Switch list. The action multiplayer game can be enjoyed solo, but it's far better with people, and there are still tons of people playing this game. With the expansion coming very soon, it's a perfect time to pick it up on the eShop for $29.99. It's the lowest price ever on there. The Deluxe Edition is $5 more, and if you want the upgrade, well that's half off on the eShop as well. Monster Hunter Stories 2 is a great JRPG. It takes all that's great about the Monster Hunter series and combines it with a turn-based monster collecting game. I love the excitement this game has, as well as the multiplayer co-op hunts. It's $29.99 as well, it's the lowest price ever on the eShop, while the Deluxe Edition is just $5 more. Finally from Capcom, there's the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles, a great entry in the Ace Attorney series that is on sale for $24.79. It's the lowest price ever on the eShop. This is actually two games that originally released on the 3DS that are now in beautiful HD. If you're looking for a great engrossing and at times very funny adventure, then you need to get this one. So ends May 16th for all the Capcom games talked about today. Sakuna of Rice and Ruin is an interesting action, role-playing, and simulation game. One part has you tending to the rice fields to grow the best rice possible, while the other half has you fighting demons. Trust me, they're both very connected, and you need to be good at both aspects to have success. It's $22.49 on the eShop until May 12th. Shadowverse Champions Battle is a hidden gem. I mean, I've said so before, but a lot of people pass this game over thinking it's nothing special. For those who love TCG games, Shadowverse is as good as any top video game TCG has ever been. It's like a modern version of the old Game Boy Pokemon card game, with an overarching story, plenty of replayability, and loads of cards to create your own decks with. Best of all, you don't need to buy any DLC, as really this game is all you need to be good to go. It's $23.99 on the eShop until May 12th. Rune Factory 4 Special, the upgraded console version of arguably the best entry in the series, is a game that combines farming with dungeon exploring. It's an action RPG, one that fans of the Harvest Moon and Story of Seasons games will love, especially if they're looking for some more action in their games. It's on sale for $23.99 until May 12th. The Corpse Party games, which are some really spooky horror adventure games, are great for those that love some twisted horror. The original is on sale for $14.99, while the sequel, Blood Drive, is on sale for $9.99. There are some really messed up moments in these games, but honestly, it makes them quite intriguing. Again, only for those that really love that stuff. Square Enix has a publisher sale going on, and a lot of their catalog is on sale in the eShop. For time's sakes, I'll just mention a couple to peek into. Neo, The World Ends With You? Got definitely lost in the sauce last year with all the big releases of the summer. Now is a great time to get this very well-reviewed RPG for half off on the eShop for $29.99. ActRaiser Renaissance is a reimagining of the SNES classic, and it is on sale for the lowest price ever of $29.99. Some like it a lot, some others didn't, so before you make the jump, check into a few reviews. Sale ends May 12th for the Square Enix games. Of course, there's plenty more games on sale, beyond all those awesome Japanese games. The Gardens Between is an excellent puzzle game. At $3.99, it's quite the steal. This is the lowest price it's ever been on the eShop. There's an overarching story between the two main characters that might have you shed a few tears before it's all over. Sale ends May 9th. I have a personal fondness for old point-and-click adventure games. When the past was around, there's one that has that style of gameplay, but it will also touch you very deeply about its lessons about life. It's half off until May 9th, a great price to play this wonderful game. If you're looking for some games with Pokemon vibes that aren't Pokemon, well check out the Nexomon games. The original is $7.49, it's the lowest price ever, while Extinction is $9.99, it's the lowest price ever as well. Again, might be worth a look for people who love that style of gameplay. So ends May 9th. Dead Cells the roguelike game is a fan favorite of many viewers of the channel. It's a fun metroidvania, one of the best on the console. It's $14.99, which isn't the lowest price ever, but it's close. There's some DLC on sale too, so check that out if you wish. 
so ends May 9th. We've talked about quite a few roguelikes today, and Rising Hell is another. It's a great one though. Love the art style, heavy metal aesthetic, and it's quite good. Check out the review on the channel if you wish to learn more. It's $4.99 until May 9th. We're heading into the final batch of games, so hang in there. I know I've talked about quite a lot today, but we're almost there. The next game, Super Hot, is a great one. It's an FPS meets Zen-like puzzle game, and it's fun as heck. It's $12.49 on the eShop until May 8th, and this one runs perfect on the Switch. Don't miss this one. Alien Isolation is another great FPS game, but this is more horror style. This one will definitely scare the daylights out of you. It's half off too, at $17.49 on the eShop until May 9th. Atari lately has been releasing the Recharge series of games that are modern takes of some of their classic games. They feature updated graphics, music, and other features. Asteroids, Centipede, Breakout, and Black Widow are all on sale for $6.69 until May 9th. And finally, there are a ton of Star Wars games on sale in the eShop. Star Wars Episode One Racer, which is still a pretty fun racing game, is half off at $7.49. The legendary Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic is $11.24, and this might be the best classic Star Wars game on the console. Both sales end May 6th. Finally, there's Star Wars Pinball, a package of Star Wars themed pinball tables using the Zen Studios pinball engine for $14.99. So ends May 8th for that one. Also to note, Star Wars The Force Unleashed recently came out on the Switch. And I did a review on the channel last week if you want to check it out. And that's this week's Nintendo Switch eShop deals. So many games, so many awesome deals, Definitely a banner week with all the Golden Week stuff going on. As always, let me know in the comments down below what games you plan on picking up from the sale. If you're looking for more deals, I got you covered. 3DS and Wii U owners, there are some awesome deals going on right now in the eShop, especially if you love Capcom games. Also, check out the eShop deals playlist to stay up to date with the latest deals. And of course, you can check out other videos on the channel if you want to know about some other awesome games. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know that you like it. And if you're not yet a subscriber, then make sure to slap that subscribe and notify buttons so you never miss out on any video. That's all I have for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you next time.